Hello, Nomad Nation. Welcome to Tandem Nomads, the podcast where you can find great inspiration and practical tips to build your portable business and thrive in your global nomadic life. Our guest today is Rosian, and she's an expert in uh, global nomads' uh, legal aspect of setting up a business. So I invited her here to share with you your great advice. But in few words, Rosian, uh, thank you so much, first of all, for being here. <laughs> Thank you, Amen, for inviting me. And could you tell us a little bit about you before we go into some uh, tips here to how to build a, a portable business? So I am a French qualified lawyer and um, I am the founder of Legal Nomads, a law firm dedicated to uh, French expatriates and uh, foreigners uh, interested in uh, investing in France. Um, so the, the law firms um, uh, advise expatriates in the civil way to protect their 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 loved one, their goods, and to um, uh, to have a business uh, going beyond the, the borders. Yeah, this is amazing. I love your name, by the way, Legal Nomads. <laughs> so that's a good point. And actually, why do you think that it is so complicated? Um, is it really what's more complicated about being a global nomad and having a business, a portable business? What is complicated with um, the fact to have a, a portable business is that you are operating from different countries. So you have several laws enforceable to your business. Uh, the law where you are uh, located, the law where you come from eventually, uh, um, and uh, you have tax treaties also um, to, uh, to take care about. Um, it's complicated because it's international. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So in this episode, you covered in detail some of the aspects to consider. Um, the first one was where to set up your company as a, an expat partner when you have to move from a country to another. We discussed it. The second thing was about trademarks, uh, how to protect your name. And the third one was about your contracts. Uh, is there any uh, tip in general you want to share here about what we discussed in this episode? Always refer to an expert. <laughs> this is the, the, the main, uh, the, the main, uh, the main uh, advice, and uh, to be very uh, careful with the law that would be uh, enforceable to your contractual relationship with your with your customer. Yeah, and that's a very good message. Nomad Nation, always reach out to re legal experts uh, who can help you because, um, and the point of this episode is to give you some indications of what kind of questions you have to ask to your legal lawyers and so that you know in which direction to go. But as you mentioned, Rosianne, um, you know, you might try to save money but not reaching out to an expert. But at the end of the day, if you have a problem, you might spend much more money in trying to fix it. So it's like you said, right, Rosianne? Yes, yes, absolutely. That's it. Don't, don't think that you are going to save money. It's a, a useful expense <laughs> and uh, it could uh, save you a lot of money at the end of the day. You, yeah. you could save a lot of money at the end of the day because you succeed in uh, having the good legal advice at the good time. Exactly. And that's what will make the difference between a successful entrepreneur and somebody who does not. It's somebody who invests in making sure to have a real business and a reliable business. So I think the legal aspect is something to think about. And so thank you so much, Rosianne, for all the amazing advice you shared in this episode. Uh, it was really great. Thank you very much. So Nomad Nation, check out all this episode on the link above or below this video. And I'm looking forward to uh, read your comments and do not hesitate to ask your questions in the comment section. I'm sure Rosanne will be more than happy to help you. See you soon and stay tuned to turn your challenges into great opportunities. Bye-bye, Rosanne. Bye. -bye,